Hey there guys, welcome to the stream. Brilliant, brilliant, I'm just working. A bit loud that I'm gonna quickly turn down the uh, audio on this game. Uh so we're today to be playing final uh Stardust Cosmic Nexus. Uh I, and uh basically uh this is a, a key that i've been provided with for uh, review so i i have got this key for free um so i'm not being paid for this review as as in the other game uh what i got for free but there is a link uh of this one and and any of you guys that are interested in the game there's a link right there uh, and it's so the devs can actually track if any if anyone actually has bought it uh, it is on a 90 percent lot there is a 90% sale on at the moment and I'll just show you quickly um, it's super cheap uh, let's just see let's just get back onto this yeah so there is a 90% sale on at the moment guys to see I don't know why it's actually not doing that actually it's not popping down for it's normally pops down if I do that stream capture what's my sec Will it do that now? So, okay, that's weird. Do that now? Okay, there you go. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, this is Final Star does a Cosmic Nexus. So this is a uh, a card battle. Of it. It's an early access. It's a trading card game. It's a bit like a visual novel game. It's a bit, bit of everything actually. It looks really interesting. And as you can see, it's got a huge ninety percent discount on at the moment of sixteen pounds seventy five. It's only one pound sixty seven. Uh, so if you are interested in the game, jump on in right now. is a great time as the the keys literally super cheap. Um, but as I don't know how this game is, uh, you know, and we will be reviewing the game afterwards as well as we're playing the game. So let me just uh, put this back in how it should be. There we go. And that should be back in the game for you guys. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, let's let's get on with it. Okay, so early access, as you can see, the battle system and deck building are fi are finally in a decent state. So at least it's telling you the next is the battle system improvements and more deck slots. Thank you. So as you can see, it's still in development. This came out in December of last year, and we're only we're only just in February now. Uh, so they've only it's only been out here, you know, I mean, for a couple of months. So they are still, uh, I said, in, in early access. So we don't know how complete this game is. But again, for support doing for one pound odds, yeah, I would definitely, you know, that's it's like having a free game in a way, isn't it? Uh, Sixteen pound odds, you might be hmm, might be a bit of a tougher sell. Um, but again, if it's fully fleshed out and there's not a lot to add to it then yeah it could be definitely worth it especially if you're into card games battling games i like card games and i like battling games i just don't play enough of them <laughs> to be quite honest with you um but yeah let me just turn down the uh the actual sound on this it's like really loud for me even on my headphones all right so we've there we go fighting for p for me thank you very much okay Let's go. Let's get into this. We're looking forward to this. So we've got um, choose your element, multiple multiple planets and an Earth play style. Let's focus on tankiness. Mercury has a power of ice, water, 
playstyle focused on healing so if you want to go like a healing deck a tanky deck control wind and lightning and playstyle is focused on utility and command fire and lava playstyle is focused on burst now i don't know what any of these are to be quite honest with you uh it sounds like uh, more like a tankiness and a fire and utility sounds like more like a um, kind of like um like a shooter game <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah yeah you be the tank you be the healer you do it so i don't know if that's comes across in the cards um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go burst i'm gonna go burst let's see can we oh oh can we, so we can actually go on deck oh okay these look pretty cool So basically it looks like we've got um, energy cards that would be, I'm guessing that these are. Um, basically we may, we probably have to put energy cards on the cards themselves to activate them. Um, these look like fire, so basically fire cards. Okay, let's have a look through them. Okay, okay these look like uh, maybe like psychic. I'm guessing these kind of oh, like, look at that, I like that. Oh my God, they do actually, some of these are really cool. I mean, obviously inspired, uh, but completely different than uh, other games. Mercury is ooh, is that maybe like an ice or snow or lightning, maybe. Again, look, they look really good. We've got tank. Which looks the worst of the lot, to be quite, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. Like, like Earth kind of creatures don't look that amazing. Like they look like maybe it's like a beginner deck or something. Uh, I don't know, you know. I actually like that one more. Just I just for the designs and maybe the psychic Pokemon. Uh, I'm not. I actually kind of already called them Pokemon already. Uh, <laughs> psychic creatures. Uh, let's just call them creatures. Um, they still have this is the thing, isn't it? When they look, uh, they do look very similar to uh, that game that I've just mentioned. Um, they are completely different. I can tell that by just looking at them. But like, like, I mean, this one, for instance, where the skull is obviously quite Cubone um, inspired with the skull on him, uh, but it's nothing like Cubone, obviously. Um, so I do like, I do like the decoration. So forgive me already. That I've already called them Pokemon. Because I think everyone will call them Pokemon. That's just how it is. It's like that on Power Worlds. You don't call them Pals, you call them Pokemon. I think that is. A kind of like a nice thing to say about it that they actually look like them because they're familiar then. They actually, you can relate to them a lot easier. You can probably pick this game up a lot easier than you could do with other games. Uh, just consider the designs you can go oh you, you know and you, your eye sees certain stuff you know like in power you can see that that looks like that it, it you know it's not a direct copy it's just inspired by and there's nothing wrong with that um but yeah so forgive me if i do mention pokemon because yeah i don't know which ones to go i think i, I think i'm gonna win my first original choice i'm gonna think i'm gonna fire one i think just outright maybe it's gonna be better so we got okay we're gonna go confirm let's see how it goes Ooh, okay so it's a mars starter deck okay what does that mean and where do we go this is like a visual kind of like what i've and i've not read a lot and i've not even seen any picture other than what's on steam it describes it as a visual novel um card builder trading card game so that's what i'm like kind of like looking for i do like visual novel games and i do like deck builders and, and trading card games you know what i mean and um, i've got i've actually got a lot of them and i i played them i do play them quite a lot uh, especially my like downtime when i've been playing something that's really just like um like engaging i like i like to play these games just to like like calm me down in a way because <laughs> they got they are actually quite interesting but some of them are really tactical some of them are really hard to get into so let's just see how this actually is it looks like we can go around the world here to different uh, biomes 
So this is obviously the biome that we would be in is, is fire because we've got fire there's the desert one there's an ice one this looks like a psychic one not too sure about this one and i'm not too sure about these ones where do we even start okay we got number one should we just start off as number one number two number three you know you know and so on maybe we just go do that might be the best thing to do maybe that's how how it's meant to be played but it looks like you can go anywhere you want so that's actually pretty good and pretty unique a lot of these things you just have to start there and that's it okay so talk astral link uh during an astral link uh cutscene you will have the option to perform three distinct distinct actions choosing talk will enable you to start a conversation okay uh buttons are available on the side to enhance your dialogue experience eliminating never-ending conversations okay by selecting battle during the astral link cutscene you can uh, initiate a battle against the elementalist with whom you are uh, con uh, conversing as i'm talking i can just go battle just get over it and done with <laughs> or opting to leave will grant you the ability to exit the con uh, conservation conversation ugh, return to the world map okay fair if that's fair and so you maybe you think oh do you know what this guy's gonna be too hard you can just go back and that's nice actually and the level of friendship you share with an elementalist so you can have friendships is what i'm saying about the kind of like uh visual book side of it uh it's depicted within a national link bar the closer you're bond is with that individual is the more the bar will be fulfilled uh, oh and by the way just to tell you as well um that even though that's like a link and, it, and it's got a chrono pixel game and it, so it's like an affiliate link i don't get paid anything <laughs> but it does say um any sales generated by that link might like further enhance me as a content creator um so you never know where that actually might lead so yeah um that's all i'm saying <laughs> uh the astral link bar is divided into five slots each representing a different uh level range from one to five you can then experience points xp by winning battles against the elementalist which contributes to advancing your friendship level and uh, the dialogue and ai difficulty will dynam dynamically change according to the level of your astral link with a representative elementalist as you engage in more battles together your bond strengthens bringing you close to one another only level one is playable for now okay so we can only do level one as it's in early access dialogue to our ai difficulty will di dynamically change according to the level of your astral link with with the respective elementalist as you engage in more battles together your bond will strengthen i like that so as you're getting as you're leveling up you, you know your bond gets stronger you'll probably be able to do more stuff but we're only on level one at the moment so maybe the whole map is only at level one which okay i mean there's quite a lot of battles to do uh in the world map your astral links are represented by stars right okay allowing you to quickly visualize your process with all the elementalists at a glance right so everyone was at a level one so for instance number one what we've gone on now we can then have a, like a five star relationship with him in, in a way if we really wanted to we can pick and choose i'm guessing um don't know exactly what that means for the storyline but I'm, I'm guessing we'll find out but we won't find out will we because we can only be level one at the moment so but yeah let's see how it goes uh upon reaching the new level of the astral link an elemental list you will receive a reward that's more likely relevant to that particular character these rewards can include items such as a gold star dust and their most powerful card a deck recipe and other related bonuses okay that's nice so let's say you so let's say i level up into level two they will just basically like give me a bit of gold dust and give me like a deck card and um, to go in my deck which is pretty nice all right let me just quickly Just... Okay. 
baja. Okay, okay. So we got deck info. That's just our deck at the moment. We can click on them to enlarge them a bit more. No, we cannot. I would like that function uh, so we can actually read the text. Oh, we can. Right mouse button. I apologize. So left mouse button to click up here. If you click on the right mouse button, it does exactly what I've just said I would like. So I like that. That's nice. That's just perfect, actually. Um, so it'll tell you exactly what it is. This is Hakra. Uh, there's a Masri start. Increase the EP of all the panels on your field by 300. Uh, and we got generation, what kind of levels it is, categories, and so on and so on and so on. Oh, we press back and so on. And so we do, do we, we have got full access to that. Okay, so talk. All right, talk, okay. Manifesto is the protagonist. Hey, good to see you again. If you ever feel like a bit rusty, I'm always up for a challenge. It's like tea. I'm gonna make sure you stay on track. I miss Fenrir already. Hope he's doing well. But I have no doubt in my mind he will learn a lot of things with you. Alright. Let's, let's just battle. Let's see how this game is. Oh, I like that. Oh, comic book strip kind of thing. So it's always been this manifest though. Alright, I'm getting like Yu Gi Oh! feel like vibes. Like, I. Well, that's probably one of the best games that you can get on Steam at the moment, card games. Oh, I'm liking it already. What's this? No, I'm not. Oh, no, that's the flag. That's, that's the give up. Got the face, so make sure you don't you label that a bit more better. I'm pretty, pretty sure that it was would be to give up. Okay, so we've got phase. I'm guessing they're different phases. Oh, Okay, that's to like the list that you play. So, okay, I'm just like looking around, seeing what we've got. Alright. Oh. Okay, it did do it. Bit worried then. Alright, so that's our first one. I guess we have to end like most things. Okay, here we go. So now we have to put that onto it. No, that just was that still to hit it. Okay, maybe I was wrong about them things. Can I not hit him directly? No. Okay. Wow, oh, what? Oh, oh. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I'll come back on him. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh, so we are attacking them. I just didn't realize. Oh, what's he doing now? These are spells. You're right, they spell now, but they're spells. So they're not like, like energy. Um. So I get so so by I didn't realize that bitch we was actually even hitting him until I seen his energy going down. That big blue line is obviously us attacking him. Maybe I don't know. Um I like it where you can see the cards actually attacking them. That's just me. But I like that. Quite easy. I I've just won. Pretty easy. Get some uh, gold dust. I don't get any astral link, do I? No. Level reward coming soon, so don't even get a level reward off that. So again, early access. Can we play him again and get a higher level? It did say you can only do level one, but I'm gonna test it. Astral link. I can see you again. A little bit rusty. The same thing, isn't it? Yeah, so he's just level one. He's, he's, that's all he is. So what if I do level two then? Oh, no. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. This is Ari. Uh, Ari is pleased to meet you. Uh, it's worked hard every day, but Ari is sad because she's still very young. Uh, wants to be an explorer card. Wants to have an explorer card to visit other islands. Oh, okay. Uh, however, Ari isn't 18 years old yet, so she basically she hasn't got a passport. <laughs> That's what I've just got out of that. She can't travel. Ah, oh, let's battle you. Yeah. Yeah, I can't put that there. Yeah, yeah, so I have to level up, don't I? So I can put, so we, we can only put one card down at a time, so we can't put two down. You've got to start off with your little level ones. Oh, you would put, able to put two down. Why couldn't I put two down? I had two. It's a bit naughty, wasn't it? on i like how they can do like like an extra card and stuff like that and i couldn't why can't i do it am i 
I missing something? What's this here? What's this here? That's just life bar. Oh, no, it didn't. Is the car's health, health going down? Is she sure if it is or is it? Take down energy off you if you can't kill you straight out. Oh, unusual. Ah, but oh my, oh my god! And that's probably why I should have picked Psychic <laughs> or Dark or whatever you want to call it. Okay, what's this? Okay, okay, we've got deck building shop, explorer manga, achievements, collection, elemental list, and music. Dyer, these are all, we, these are not active yet. It's explorer. Coming soon. Collection. It's our collection at the moment. Is it? I don't feel like this is all our collection. I don't think like we've not got all these. There's no way we've got all these. Maybe it's since the all the collection in the game because we've got like these. Oh my god! That maybe we do. Maybe we just not leveled them up good enough. Oh, shot! What shot? Hi there. How can I help you? Uh, buy a booster pack. Alright. Burning spirit, yeah. Neither will what? How many how much have we got? I've got six hundred. Do two packs then. Sure, yeah. I think, I think we need them already. Next. Oh. Okay. I don't have that one, but we have got these two. Okay. Got a cat and a bigger cat. Okay. I wonder if we can turn some of these into like dust. Like in the ones we've already got. Okay. What's this? Pull some spells to re revitalize and save me of it. 
Also, these are like um, the kind of like energy things that we will get. That might be worth getting as well. Maybe a bit of mix and matching. Okay, that's that's that. So we have done deck building. Okay, let's 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 have a look at the deck then. So we were a bit. We could. We obviously probably do want to mix and match it. To be fair, uh, we'll, we'll we'll stay on fire it for the moment, and we'll just see what we can actually do with our deck. Deck is full. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. So we've got three of these. Okay, let's. Right. So. Two of them, two of them. And then one of them. Not too sure if that's the different. Do that. See how that goes. Uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so we'll, let's continue. And we got a road map up there as well. Let's have a look at that in a minute. Okay. Carry on. Okay, let's see. Okay, straight away we've got some nice new cards now. Might help us, might not. Not too sure. And now she's called a three out at one time when I can only call that one. There's a fourth card. And that's what I'm not understanding quite yet. Like, how can they do that? And I can only do one at a time. I don't know what this is either. What's this one about on the circles? Like, I am, like, kind of. Oh, yeah, she. Oh, I'm getting me. Okay, so that's me. I don't know. She got five and I've got three here. Too sure if that does anything at all. Like what does that mean? I've got north out of three, so is that all I can do? 
It sounds, does look like it. Can they? I don't. It's what I'm not understanding about this game. I don't like. How is she able to attack me like twice? That's what I'm really not getting about this. It's not really talent teaching me, is it? That's the title screen in a minute. There's no training roadmap. What's roadmap? Okay. Not exactly what we're looking at. Hmm. I, I, I kind of like it, but I think this is, I, I mean, again, if I'm not too sure how to play the game, because it's not taught me how to play the game, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of learning as I'm just kind of guessing, if you get what I mean. Like, most card games like this will have a little tutorial. Um, Like, I, I'm understanding it. But I don't, so like, how can they attack me like three times? This is what I'm not understanding. It's the same thing. Okay, we'll just skip that. Let's try it again. Okay. Like, I like, like, this is very simplistic. I like that. That, that's uh, the cards are easy to see it's easy to just play straight away as you can see i thought i bought the f uh, I, f I bought and beat the first person quite easily but now the second person like what what's this zero with the three circles on here not too sure it doesn't explain anything about that um so i'm guessing as we go up this is the levels of cards we can play so level one, and we can play one card. This is what I'm guessing. We can't. We, have we got one card left? Do we? No, I don't think we do. So we have to phase. So let's see what, and this is what I'm gonna see what, I'm just making sure like I'm not missing something. Ah, see what well, that's what I'm saying. How was she able to play two cards and I can only play one card? She had not one as well. Is that that's a level one? Uh, what's that? And that was a level one as well. I'm 
not exactly sure how she's picking two cards on the first one. And I can only pick one. So this is her second go, and she's picked three cards. She used to go down on the bomb. So if I can't pick three cards now, she's it's some kind of unfair advantage. And that I'm not understanding why or how. So we've got three out of three here. Right. So she put down two level ones, which would make two, and then a bomb. So let's see if I can do that then. Let's see if I can do two level ones. Maybe this is what I'm going to... Maybe I'm not figuring it out. Two level ones. I've got... I can put a third one down of a bomb. So, okay. Okay, right. Right, I think I'm, that's why she can do it. That's why I can do it as well. So it's not an unfair advantage. I'm not... I'm just not figuring this out. And now, so she's on a two on a two dots again i don't know what this is maybe that's maybe she, she maybe she won two games in a row not you know this is what i'm not understanding maybe as well you see what i'm saying things could be a little tiny bit clearer Them bombs are so unfair. And then you can do three attacks. Wow. Wow. Okay. So really, what I want to do then is I want to do a bomb. Alright. And that one as well. Right, and then I want to do that. I want to put an attack card on it. I'm learning. I'm learning. And then we want to do the phase and hit her back. Why did it not hit her back? Did, was it was was that meant to attack then or something? Because it didn't attack. I, maybe that. Maybe it was meant to fight. Maybe I'm missing a. Maybe I'm missing a thing. Right. Okay. Should just say face down there. I've got five out of five now. So hold on a minute. If I do a bomb again, take these out. I mean, it won't take them all out, but it'll take you know quite a lot of them. I can do a level two. That means I've got no moves left, though. Right, so can I attack like that? Oh, I can't drag them. I have to phase. Battle. Okay, I'm in a battle phase. Right, it did. So it did do battle phases then. Right, he's gone. So they want the HP. This one's a deal the energy thing, which yeah, they take off a lot of energy. He's gonna attack my one, and then he's gone. But they can't, but they can't fight me because they haven't got enough uh, energy left. So I'm gonna uh, energy bomb. And we'll do. I'm gonna uh, about you. And then for energy bar. Do you put you there? Put the that on it. And then so we can't so we have to do the base thing. We're in the battle. Right, 
I went straight to end then. So maybe I haven't got enough points to battle. That's why I went end. Maybe that's why. You yeah, see, they're attacking down the sides where I've not got cards. So I'm getting, I'm getting my head into this game a bit more as I'm playing it. And the key things really are bombs. <laughs> to be, let's be honest. Uh, what so we can do? Hold on, a level two there. All right. Yeah. We can do. Well. You know, I'll do a level two there. Alright, and then we're going to do a level one there. Alright. Right, so maybe as well, and I've just realised this, maybe like this one, because it's like the same level, should be there. And then like this one, that's kind of the same level should be there. That's like 2,900, that's 1,400. So it's 1,300, that should, probably should go there. That one should have went there. Okay, maybe that's something as well to think about. Like, so we're doing direct competition with each other. Increase the e EXP for the playing off on the field by 50 times the number of turns. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. We can get these on then. Yeah, nice one. And that one on. Put the attack up. How do we do this one? There? There. There, I've got enough. I'm not too sure to activate this one. Please. Oh, you're gone. Oh, I don't know. That, I'm not too sure if that even worked. I don't know. That worked. I don't know what that was. I think I'm getting this slowly but surely, but I think I think I'm getting this. I think we have to link them up. I think we have to like go back on this again. I think we gotta be like Pavel. Like if that's a 300, we gotta be 300. You know, if they put like a 1,000, we gotta put a 1,000 to. So they battle each other like that. I'm not too sure why there's three circles in there. And I, again, I don't know what the other one was for either. So like this one at the moment. So we got... So this is our strongest one. 600 EP and 400 HP. So let's do that. Yeah, let's do that one there. Let's see what that he or she does. Now, can I? I can't put anything else down. How can she do that? She only had one move. She only had one move. But no, that one. 
Jeez, you should not have been able to play that bomb. Right, that's that's the space to cheat in. This one, the styles. Go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. We can. Oh, okay. Right, so can we, now we should be able to attack them 900. So if that goes to 4000, then that works. Okay, phase. Right, okay. That's the first time I've even seen that attack. But okay. I'm getting somewhere. Only one of them could attack them because they were once to timed out. Of course, they wiped them out, didn't they? In one go, of course, they did. Honestly.
Right, so it's mentioning space counters, and the only thing I can see is like these. So I'm guessing that some of these give you like little counters. Like, for instance, if I if I had a space counter, this could then gain 100 EP for each space counter. But I don't have any. To, this is how. I maybe this is how it's working. If they can get space counters, and I'm guessing this what like, these are. And that gives them a little bonus. So I might have to look for characters like they have to give me just so, so I can compete. A space counter. This is what I'm guessing these are. Or it says one. Got one counter. Then that means they can activate certain things like. Well, I mean, they probably already done it, but yeah. Hmm. That is a guess. Yeah. I feel this is good because there's enough counts now. Mike's get yeah there you go look we we'll get two two counters it's on to three counters now so whether counters means that they can powers them up or something I'm not too sure but I don't I've got three counters now oh, it's too late because I'm dead hmm hmm These are five hundred. Six. Two of them. Saint spell Masri. I don't know exactly what this is. Increase the EXP uh, EP of plans on your field by 50 times the number of terms. But how I don't know how I was actually meant to be able to play this because it came up, but like, too sure how I was actually meant to play it.
Yeah, we need these ones. Just a counter. We need a bit of a mix in the march to tap that language. What is it? Attack directly on the first turn. Reposing plant is an immune to status effects. Overdrive. Increase EP by 500. That's, that's a pretty decent card then, isn't it? We want to keep the spells. Are you sure about this one? My, my hole? That's it, my hole. That was it. Yeah, take that one out. And we can. So. So if we have like that in, it also it does a shadow copy, but also anything that's on the right, it re-triggers that effect. Therefore, if we had like this on the right, it's like a, a status effect, or for instance, 200 damage or whatever it might be. Do you know what? I think it's a bit more balanced. Let's 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 try it again. We're a little bit more balanced now. We got a bit more, uh, a bit more dust to buy better cards or more balanced cards, not just fire cards, because that ain't gonna get you nowhere. But that's the whole thing with these deck building games. So like this, are like this start. This looks like at the start, 
I've already been beat like four times just because like they're overpowering me and it's obviously something to do with them little the, the D's as well which I'm not understanding so maybe we got a more balanced thing now so we can deal damage 200 to the opposing plan <coughs> this one is <coughs> what's this one say gain 50 XP for each card in a black hole black hole Ooh, I don't know what that is. I didn't even notice that thing. Okay. This is deal 300 to the posing plan. We haven't gotten a plot. Uh, so we maybe we'll start off with that there. And see what that does. And then we can put that level one down. Oh, how does that, how does that do that? Got because it's got a counter. So all these have got counters. Right, so this is again. I'm not too sure. Got a counter. Maybe that's why she can put down three at once. This is what I'm not too sure about. Like they can evolve as well. Can evolve. Can evolve. Nearly killed me Kraken. <clears throat> they killed me Dragon, uh, me Fingy Guy.
Hmm. Okay. Let's be then. So if I can do it to you. Yeah, yeah. See? Comes round. We'll do you. even attack him because he had to stand by bed open it yeah he can wipe pull me out and just attack me oh that was lucky not dead yet Boost the left files and if he is facing a panel. this again yeah and uh, we're gonna increase the left one by a thousand so we want to move that one so that's on the left and we can put him there there we go him oh ho, ho, when i won there not level 10s i'm learning because there was no one there couldn't stop me from attacking I got 300 to their 1,500 left. <sighs> if I do that one. Okay. That one. And then that one there. Alright, okay. It's fine at the moment. Do that. straight out already all right so if i do that to all the enemies 
I'm just not going to take them all out though. That's fine. This one up there, oh, and that gives you a little bit extra as well because of the space counter we've got. And then we can that one. I'm gonna put it on this one to make it a bit more stronger. There we go. And then we can do that. Is you gone? How come I didn't attack them? Oh, because he was asleep. I'm forgetting about the sleep period. Seems a bit unfair, but it's because they've been they're out there. And I'm bringing mine in after, like, after you know, like most games where they're like shadowed out. You just forget because you can't see that. Boss. Do you know what? That was actually, a, I mean, even though she beat me again. It was a lot more difficult for her to beat me. As I'm learning the game, but I'm also getting better cards as well. Right, if I go back onto the, the first one, I mean, I know I won it straight away without just a fire alone. So they have a timeout, and then they then they can battle. Alright, but I gotta remember that. So like he's got a timeout, he shouldn't be able to attack. And they can level him up all they want. They can't attack. What I could do? I could do this. There you go. And you die. Put you there. There we go. Landed. All right, take that off you. HP. Oh, I can't do that because they're not right. I can't do anything with these cards. Huh? Not bad. I need to do my best now. Answer is lost 500. Well, as a starter, this guy's just a little bit too easy, isn't he? But it kind of... This should be really like a tutorial, I think. Or there should be a guy before him learning you about the counters and so I know, I think it did mention things like that when, when I was reading through it. But maybe I just didn't read through it all. I prefer like a tutorial where you can learn rather than reading. It's just something I'd maybe make this first character as a tutorial. So you learn about these counters and stuff like that in the game while you're playing it so you can go oh okay i get that learning about this it doesn't i don't think it mentions it anywhere i'm not too sure what this is again i think this is give up i think i don't want to even touch it because i think it is give up white flag you know 
That's just a guess again. Um, okay. Um, that should be M, um, that should be M. Um. Oh, his defense was too high. I just noticed his HP isn't much defenses. In that one. I'd be close though. At least you get a bit of dust out of it as well. So you can you could you could grind a little bit on that at first just to get yourself more familiar with the game and then you know buy some cards and stuff because I'm I'm and I'm not too sure what I've got now. Probably six hundred. So yeah you could probably grind a little bit of dust those two air uh, thingy because uh, I want this thing um yeah want to see what these are uh, ooh. okay so we've got a level one ice shard deals 1200 to an enemy level two uh, done done over uh, deal 2400 maybe damage to all enemies deal 50% damage that less damage if the plan or, or a, a creature is in, in the middle slot okay so if it's on the left or the right it's a bit less at half so it's like 1000 what 200 which is about the same as this but if it's in the middle and it and you deal everything out it's like it's really powerful and uh, this is 1200 damage to all of them again feel 50 percent less if it isn't in the middle slot so these are actually powerful if it's like three of them and you just hit the middle one and it spreads out bang if you do the left or the right it actually cuts it in half so that would be 600 and that would be 1200 where this one is literally just 1200 but they're not bad then to have well, I mean, let me see <coughs> what i've actually got like uh, bomb wires and stuff in me in my actual deck because again they could be like what we're kind of looking for to get Get rid of this pyro ball. 
because it only does one person. That would be bad. <laughs> but we might do this. Level two of that. Uh, what else have we got? We've also got. How many of these Novas have we got? So we have already got actually they are so we are actually got the better nova so now we know we should be reading these really more carefully because again if they're not in the middle these novas are okay but they're actually dealing half the damage uh, if they're not in the middle one two of these Novas so we've actually got the better ones anyway they're level one and what it means really by it, we've got fine we've got like psychic ones I, I did the same things really <coughs> excuse me So it looks exactly the same over than one psychic one and one fire one. I'm just looking at this one again. Increase the EP of all of your planos on the field by 50 times the number of turns. Like, it'd be like OP, but I'm not sure how we activated it. Um, I have to take half the card just what it was like <coughs> oh, excuse me and even this femur looked pretty good as well this week. the better ones aren't they? that one's not bad but it's are definitely the better ones that level two that's a really good card at level one though maybe we can get rid of one of these which counts you have maybe one of these <laughs>
take one of them heal things out for this Mazari thing. I'm not really healing them anyway. So let's see what that Mazari thing is again. Is again. <clears throat> I'll go second person again. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right, oh, so we've only got an ice shard, which we don't really want to do yet. So we can do Nico. Um, So if we do that, that should be trigger that to fire off. And that should fire off up to there. Right. <coughs> it was. I was right. That was his effect. As you can see, deal 300 to the opposing guy. It didn't trigger off at the beginning again because there was no one there, but because this one. Some of the copy, but also re triggered right hand's effect. That's why it's triggered off. We'll always read the cards and um, what they actually do. Beauties. Let's do this.
we studied, we got better, and then eventually we did win. Yeah, we're getting into this. It's not as simple as what it looks. So weirdly enough, okay. We got number three, number four, number five, number six. We'll go number we'll go number three. And so we'll go we'll go in order. What do you say? Uh Nestors? Uh, yo, how you doing? I have two more years before I graduate, so I'm doing my best at school. I would love to challenge you to battle when you have some time. It's always fun to learn new things. I'll give you a battle right now, mate. Don't you worry about that. Okay, looks like we got nothing. The, the really the bad thing is like if you don't have anything as like as a one straight away they have do have an advantage over you and um, that's something maybe to look at too bad you can't reshuffle maybe you can i'm not too sure what this white finger is i've still not clicked it i just don't want to end it maybe it is reshuffle i'm not too sure again this is where it should be a bit more clearer if i can reshuffle not just press this i don't want to press this and just give up I don't, I, that's what I'm presuming that is, but maybe it's, it's not, maybe it's reshuffled the deck. I, I, again, not too sure. Okay, let's have a look around, so. Not dead. Oh, he was dead. Okay. 
einmal fallen. Get a clear run at me. Yeah, of course they did. So of course, of, of course. Oh, eating. <laughs> mm. I'm up 300. Let me see what this does. What does it do? It does give up. Uh, I mean, I have 300 left anyway. I just wanted to see what that was. So that is definitely give up. There's no redraw. Okay, let's try that again. I have to upgrade some of my cards in a minute just to match his. He's got like that policy, it's like pretty OP in a way. 500, 600 straight away. Mine's 500, 300. Like, yeah. If I put that there, it increases that one. Why, why can I? Why can I? I've got two counters. <laughs> I 
that's why I powered him up, take a thousand off him. see what we can do. That one, that increases that by a thousand. Well, of course it did. Okay, so when they, they can level up or oh, didn't realise we could actually do that. How did they level up then? That's now a level two and that's a level one. And evolve. But how did they level up then? Because I don't sorry that's a two as well, but obviously it's the same one. Are they leveled up? I'm not too sure if they are leveled up actually. Why can't I use this thing? I'm actually not too sure what this is and why I can't use it. beat that that won't beat that but if I power up this one that should beat that that might not because it's defense I'm not too sure and that should we should can what why see this is unbelievable but I can't seem to use it Honestly, I'm not too sure how to use these Mayho cards. That's another thing, like, I'm after if to, if, to, if to, can I go back and have a look at the instructions again? I'm not too sure. Just to find out what the Mayho cards are and how they work. I'll try and find out in a minute. I can or can't. survival and then we're gonna do this so we've got a card up there as well and a card there that's what I'm talking about
Let's go. Energy things are so important, really. I mean, take him out, boys. Come on, so I'm talking about it's all about strategy. Last time he wiped us off the face of the planet. This time, not so much. So we've done one, two, three. See what we can get in shop wise. Let's buy. Uh, we, we've got none of these, have we? Um, probably not going to be bothering with them, to be quite honest with you. 700 and get two more well these are actually pretty good these um ice ones that he had yeah we can have two more let's, let's go for two of them and let's see what we get I mean about how much higher for levels they are. Okay. good thing about these ones is they give you them space counters these ones straight away are higher in xp like this one that'll be a 400 mg damage i don't know what mg damage is magic damage i think that's magic damage the opponent the starter card actually not so bad like these are not so bad later on in the game if you've got cards in the hole
Oh, that's like super OP. Keep on forgetting you can do this, love. Oh, that's not sick. That's sick. Actually, we've only got one level four, which is that one. getting rid of this thing because I don't even know what it does. Honestly, I'm going to play what it does. We'll have enough on number one. So we've got a kind of... But I think we've got a better death than before, but who knows? So we've done one, two, three. We'll do one more. Before we come to the end of the stream, um, I, I mean, I'm I'm getting into this a little bit more. I think it does need to be a bit more fleshed out. i like for for for, for one pound sixty or whatever. It's on bargain right now, ninety percent. I would pick it up. Yes, it's in early access, but I think you're going to get your money out of it for two less than two pounds. You're quite a lot of levels. I'm only on the fourth level. It is actually quite difficult as well. So there's there's a learning curve on it. It's not just as easy as just pick a deck and go for it. And um, I think there is things that it should be more explained. Um, now again, I might have missed that. Again, who's going to be reading it a lot of the time? Not a lot of people just want to get into the game. So I do feel like maybe the first guy could be like a tutorial just to, hey, this is what this does, this is what this does, this is what this does, and then get and then play the game. Um, I do feel like maybe that could be a bit, you know, that could be like you tutorial, or, you know, just tell you exactly what, what to do, hand hold you a little bit, and then go, right, go play. So maybe have a little test hand and then go and then go play him you know something like that <laughs> okay danos what is it young person do you do you do anything illegal recently no <laughs> as an old one i need to prevent crimes to make sure everyone is safe oh did nothing wrong never mind then max will work 
Alright then, and I would like to obviously see what happens in the later levels, like, because on some of these I should be like, what, a level 2 now? So, and I'm not, I'm a level 1. So that's a kind of like early active thing, which I hope they do get onto that sooner rather than later. Um, but as something just come out in December, so you have, do have to give them a bit of time. You have to keep that in mind. Actually, the game's like not bad. Like uh, for card game early access, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty easy to get your head into it, which is that's a good sign, I think, because if it's over complicated and you've got this system, this system, this system, you can't quite figure it out. Look, like it, it didn't take me longer really to figure this out. Like I said, obviously, you know, it should tell you about this system here, which I don't think it did, but if it did, I just can't remember it. Uh, maybe it did on the beginning when it when it was writing down all the things and I was reading it, but maybe it just didn't click into my head up because I didn't know about it. Uh, again, the black hole thing, uh, obviously that's where you, you, your clouds go to, so you can re re recover them. This, I don't like this being here. This should be moved over. I feel like this, this, it's confusing because I, you know, I thought it this might be like a reshuffle. It's not. It's quit. I think that should be over there, and I think it should actually put down there. Quit as well if you want to quit. So, or wave the white flag if you like. I think it should be moved over to where phase is. So, and actually, and actually put down as quit or over here, just above your character's heads as quit. I don't like it being here. I just don't like it being there. Um, I feel like you, some people might just go up and go, what the hell's this bang and it's game over. So that's one, I think, negative thing about this. I just would not have that there. It's not negative. Um, sorry, I shouldn't be saying I'm negative. I should be saying I would like it be placed somewhere else. I have it over here next to the phase and actually say quit on it. Quit game or forfeit. Something like that so you know what it is. Uh, at the moment, it's just a, a flag. Like, you, uh, you know, I kind of guessed it straight away, but and you know, and I did try it when I was near enough dead anyway, just to make sure. But if you were a new player and you thought, oh, what's this? Is this a reshuffle? Boom. No. <laughs> I also think it should give you a reshuffle option, like most card games. Like if I'm not happy with that first, like just the first cards that come out, like if it didn't have a couple of level, level ones, I could reshuffle, just, you know, I think that should be an option as well. So I think these things could be definitely fleshed out, definitely improved upon. Other than that, like, and that's really it, negative. And, and again, I wouldn't even say negative. I'd just say these are things that could be fleshed out and maybe added to. And overall, I think the game, the card game, that's pretty good. Um, again, I am one for like having animations rather than just uh, another, another attack thing. I mean, maybe that could be added as well. But you actually see these more like attacking. Um, I, I do uh, I do obviously admit that it's more cost as well to do that <laughs> and I think you've got to compare yourself to like the bigger ones like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like that and see how they do it and, and go okay can we implement something like that um, yeah so I think there's definitely a good things and, uh, and some again not negative things but things that they can work upon Again, it's early access, so hopefully they can take they can look at this review and go, yeah, actually they've got an idea that shouldn't be there, that should be there, and it should be you know saying forfeit or over here. Maybe we can do a redraw thing there. Maybe that instead of that being there, maybe you can put that as a redraw. You know what I mean? Or you know just again redraw here, and then over here forfeit. You know what I mean? So do you, you got you know that's over there, and you got a redraw card here. And, and just time times one so you can only times one it but you know you've got the option of this now as your as your first hand if i didn't want that i could redraw it i think again that would be maybe a lot better to be quite honest with you Game. Um, I could play it a lot more. I could play it for like easily a couple of hours. Um, so I, I think that's a good thing going for it that I'm actually can switch straight away. Um, it's not took a while to figure it out, which again I think that's a positive. 
and I said, you know, like I said, the systems here should be, I don't, you know, should be either, the, again, the first guy should, should be a tutorial. That's what the first guy should be. The first guy on this world's tour, as I'll call it, should be a tutorial. How did they call three then? I hate that. I hate how we can call three on the first go. That should, again, that shouldn't be allowed. If he's got one go, same as me, how is it? I'm guessing it's because of the counters again. Like, I, this is what I don't understand about this. Like, how how's he able to do that? You know, where I'm not. I think it's definitely a bit, uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, what did he do? Just sacrifice him. I think he did. Wow, he took a lot off that. I'm going to have to put him there. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay. 1200 attack, 1300 in defense, HP. 's look where the black symbols are could they not have a graphic on them and like have a back of a card or something just so they're not black squares again little things just need to be fleshed out I think on this game and I think it'd be a really good game when it comes out of early access I think it'd be you know at, like actual decent see look it's got a back on it now but well, why not just a minute ago wouldn't it have the same back on there so it's just not like it looks like a black void Again, <laughs> makes no sense in a way. Um, yeah. that then but okay whatever
excuse me. making choices now and that's not even thinking about it because it's just once you've got into it it's that it it's pretty simplistic which again is a good thing for a card game i think when we've got too many systems like it it's over complicated and it's really hard to get into not not to say that they're not good games but this is like a very uh easy game to get into that, that way for me it's more enjoyable because i can actually play the game I don't have to think about it once I've learnt it like that then I just made that them choices very simplistic because I knew that it would power up and then I knew that the bomb would hurt them and so forth so forth I like that I do like that kind of attack and that's what I prefer all the time rather than the the, the diamond uh, the, 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 char the charging thing when it attacks the player maybe they could all go forward just to symbolise that they're, they're attacking I do like that bit though. That's that's like, and I like that. Again, I think it just needs to be fleshed out a little bit. But like that bit there, that's what I, you know. I mean, I know, but like that I like. I really like that. That's that's pretty cool. The 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 blue arrow bit where it's they're attacking me. I prefer that they just all come forward, so you know they're attacking me. It, it just it's not that much of a difference really, but yeah. 
or even that there where you have the animation of them five and something maybe they could all do like an, an animation with five at you so they so you know they're all attacking you even that would be great Okay, see, I'm I'm definitely getting into this now. Like, it's becoming a lot easier for me to play this game now. I'm actually understanding the systems. I'm able to level up the cards. So, what did I do? I did. I just, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that it's in early access, and um, I mean, even the little icons, maybe they could go off because I know I fought them. Uh, just to remind myself, but I've done one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, maybe we could just maybe try and finish off this island five and six by the end of the stream Now we're getting more used to it So talk here we go uh, Fiona Fli Flo own Florina Florina Hello there. The weather's looking nice today. Oh, you're telling me you want to battle against me. I'm strong You know, although I'm not strong as my sister But it doesn't matter. Let's have fun together. Oh, okay Birdies. The flo Flora? I, I, I'm not too sure how to pronounce her name, but okay. Well, we, we're getting into it now. So, we haven't got any space counting, so it's, this won't level up. But at least we can put something down. figuring it out now either the magic attack and then how uh, we're doing up to kill him off so let's see This one is there. He's now not asleep or he can now attack. Kill off a big guy already. Huh? Oh. 
and we can't do anything with them at the moment, so... Boom. Boom. What the hell is that? Luckily enough to get, she hasn't got any counters. Ooh, I'm trying to kill him off. He knows he's powerful. Oh no! Alright, okay. Two thousand two hundred. Oh my god! Well, right, hold on a minute now. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do something here. Right, we're gonna put uh, this one on. Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna ice crystal this. And then we're gonna have... right, but I see a big one. It's 600 damage to the opposing one. Okay. Knock him down to like 300 left. Two cards. Each. Oh, do you know what? This one's going to go there. And it's going to power up by the space counters that I've got. Oh my god. And then we're going to attack with this. the main guy here with more and then we're gonna attack oh yeah yeah see not that hard of a game once you actually start buying a little bit of cards the bombs are very important on this game i'll tell you that right now um and a lot of power ups and stuff like that. Obviously, you can only have 20 in your deck, which is fine. Um, I don't know if you can upgrade that over time to like maybe 25 or 30 or something like that. Who knows? Obviously, you're not getting any level rewards, which would be nice. So, not getting any actual length to elemental XP. So we're only getting gold dust at the moment. Yeah, but it might be nice as well. I, I've just realized that we're not, we're called No Name as well. No Name. Um, yeah, maybe that could be nice to um, actually name our character. That's just, yeah, rather than call a, calling us no name. So this is the last one off this level, off this island, so we know where we're up to next time, if we play it next time. Which I would play it again, so that's pretty good. Uh, Waguma, enough of difficulty day. I need to work hard there. Sorry, youngster, I didn't see you. How can I help? A battle, you say? I don't think I can do that right now. I'm so busy. I don't even know I can finish my workload for today. Oh. 
I'm gonna battle you anyway, mate. So I'm just, <laughs> just getting the battlefield. See, that might be good where we, maybe you've got to do something for him to battle him. Again, again, daily access. Well, I can't do anything here, so. Yeah, another thing where, again, I think a redraw would be nice. And he's now got the advantage on me. It's already took points off me already, because I've got nothing there to protect myself with. Great, okay. It's fine. So we're going to put bomb there, and he's going to level up by an extra thousand. There we go. Okay, and then... Obviously he's sleeping, so we can't attack. But he can. Take a little bit off me. the same amount of points now mg was that i thought it was magic points last it's not it's actually your life points so i know that for next time Okay, so let's see. Probably want to do that one, that, and then that'll cause damage. There we go. We probably want to do that to all of them. Okay. We're going to. Oh, no counters. I'm going to put that one there. Okay. Yeah. That's a 200, so that should be. Yeah. <laughs> 
in control there as well okay okay i'll go right 200 any counters that's 600 if we put right him there he should die he will die we're gonna put this guy in the middle Okay, this guy there. Not. This guy. So what did what did that say? Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, what did they win? Oh, it leveled them up. I want to know how to do that. That's something I've not done yet. Level up a card or a vault that makes me wonder how I actually do that. Ah, that was a powerful attack. Okay, I'll do that in a to attack. Oh, he's still aside. This is more stressful than I thought. <laughs> yeah, you, could, you, you said it. You said it no name. <laughs> we'll just call you Chrono for now. If we can rename it, then yeah. See, look how this is Wagman there. Maybe there if we could say Chrono. And that'd be because I didn't know that little, little touches like that make a game. If you can rename it and then your name is at the side just like his name. You know, this is the thing what makes you stand out. Like, and, and just little things like that would not be hard to implement. You just, you know, watch your name at the beginning of the game, Chrono. Because how his name is Waguma. And that's at the side of his picture, then Chrono could be there. Like, very, very simplistic. It just like, oh, that's that's nice little touch. Uh, I think definitely things like that could definitely be worked upon. You know, fleshed out a little bit more, implemented. This I don't like, like I said, put that over here and say, you know, retire or something like that, or give up. This, and then, like I said, this should be uh, at, where, at the beginning. If you don't have a level one card, you can redraw it if you want to. Have we re redrawed what, uh, the whole hand or like most card games give you an option of like, you know, picking three or five cards that you want to discard and, you know, get new cards in. Uh, again, something like that, either one would be fine for me. Excuse me. Uh, what am I doing? Just talking. There we go. Let's kill this guy. Let's get rid of him. Alright. Ah, my beauties! Oh. 
as you can see, definitely whipped out this game. Didn't take a long time. Took so what? I would say half an hour, maybe to an hour max to wait, fig, actually figure this game out. We were stuck on here for about what four or five games. And then once we beat it, we've just gone undefeated now. So we've done the whole main green island and we could carry on. You know, there's a good couple of hours of gameplay here. You know, easily, it depended on how hard these actually get. And don't forget, we we were just touching the surface of the card building as well. We've not really, we've only bought a few decks. Uh, how many, how much have we got now? We got a thousand, so we can just go crazy on the booster packs or crazy on the bomb packs. You know what I mean? We buy two of these. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So um, we could definitely, you know, have a look, have a look. Again, the play mats, the card sleeves, you know, you can't, you know, buy a whole deck, which would be nice. Um, don't have that implemented in the game yet. There's a lot of things that they don't have implemented yet. So keep that in mind. I'm going to leave this uh, game and review and uh, leave it as it is. But again, if you are interested, uh, the link is in the chat, but I will link it in the description as well. Uh, if you are interested, it's on a 90% sale at the moment. It's definitely worth picking it up right now at 90% off. You can't go wrong with it. It's actually a fun game. It's interesting. Uh, yes, there's a few things that need to be flashed out, but is it an early access? So keep that in mind. And as you can see, there's early access at version 0.6.6. .6. There's not even version one yet. And I think it's actually got the makings of actually a decent card game. It's easy to get into. Yes, I would like a tutorial, but that's just me. You know, any card game, I think a little tutorial just to, but there was, there was now again, can I get that access? There was some kind of reading at the beginning. Was it just this? Like, I don't, I think if I press new game, it might tell me how to do it. Again, I don't really want to do that, but this should be maybe, like I said, like a little log book here, or this should be something, like I said, like training or tutorial or something, even on the first level, maybe this, this, this should be that. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think definitely I would pick that up uh it's now on a 90 percent sale so and it, and it's only gone into early access so give it up for the devs trying to get the key out there uh i, I do i do like that um you know what i mean get players interested in the game get people playing at it and and you know what i mean and go from there um the full price after game is 16 pounds 75 that's a bit harder but what it is at the moment before the one point zero bill so but what it says here is um since the final stardust title installment i want to get as much play feedback as possible which i think that's great before launching the one point zero build i also want to make sure the game is well balanced and for full release that i think that's a good thing um i've got no problem with the price being 16 pound but i think with it being an early access and you can only Go around that board once. Um, I don't. I think it's. I think maybe that should be lowered, maybe to like ten pounds. And obviously, it's on a ninety percent sale on now at one pound sixty-seven. So, like you know, what I don't. What's that? Three dollars, something like that. It's definitely worth picking that up right now on a ninety percent sale. Uh, and as they've said here, they just want feedback. You know what I mean? I think. If it was full price, again, £16, I, I think it could be worth it at that, but a bit more fleshed out. Again, it's in early access. It's not even a 0 0.1 build yet. Only come out in December. I think that's a hard, harder uh, sale. Um, I think it was £10. That probably would be a little bit better being early access, but again, it, it depends on the overheads, the cost of the game. Uh, you know, cost for artists and developers, I understand all this. You know, this is just me personally saying if it should be maybe a little bit lower uh, for the full price game. And then again, I definitely, I would 100% buy this right now at £1.67. Uh, but again, I'm going to obviously disclaimer, I have been giving this game for free through Keylogger. Um, Keymailer, sorry. Um, and the link uh, uh is it is in the chat and i'm going to post that a link in the description as well so if you are interested 
go to my Twitch or my YouTube and you can click on that. I don't get any money. You know, I that that's not what this is about. This is just me trying to review games on a constant level, trying to create something. Uh, and basically this is this is literally what it says. If I paste this link into the chat, it can track the it can track it uh, for sales. So they be able to know how many sales it's done off that link, which um, and then the channels that generate sales. So if will then receive better and more offers. So I don't get any money, but I might get a better offer. I might get oh, I really like that review. Can you do more reviews? Now that helps me grow as a content creator. Uh, and that helps me actually do like better content for you guys uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. So it would be very much appreciated to have a look at the game. If you do like it, click on the link. Um, if you don't want to click on the link and you want to go directly to Steam and do that, that again, absolutely fine. You don't have to, but it does help me a lot by actually just clicking on the link. Not, uh, but not by um, money, but it helps them to see, hey, this guy has actually done a good review. He's provided the links out. People have clicked on the links. And even at a 90% sale, you know, we've got a couple of things that, you know, let's let's give him another key to review. Or let's, you know, maybe can review this. And this is how it helps me grow. So, yeah, it'd be very appreciated if you can just uh, use the link. Again, you don't have to. There's no pressure on you. But it does help me uh, grow as a content creator. So I'm going to leave it as there. Uh, anyway, we're going to uh, read somebody and see who's around. Uh, I think um, our friend uh, Pink uh, Momoshi was uh, just gone live. So we'll just quickly check. Uh, we have, and she's playing. Um, a hog game. Hidden object, Demon Hunter 3. So we'll, we'll join in there. And uh, yeah, so let me just copy down the name. I've got an early morning. So I hope to, uh, I hope again, a bit different. Um, again, like the other game, I, you know, I am going to start doing more of these kind of review kind of games. Uh, overall, by the way, and, and out of a 10, I would give this game a high six at the moment and the only reason why it's a six is because it's not even a, a um a version one i think things need to be fleshed out i like the animations um i like the cards i like the graphics um i like the gameplay it wasn't too hard once i got into it, it was at the beginning because i didn't understand it but once i understood it which it wasn't hard to understand it as you can see that <coughs> i was winning quite uh, constantly and uh, the ai was good competition but i was uh, able able to easily beat it once i'd figured out let's buy some better cards and stuff like that i like that and um, again Although there's a lot of stuff that needs to be added onto it, which it, it says that straight away. I like that. It literally tells you, hey, this guy, this is a development. You can go around the board, fight everyone, but you can't level them up. You can't get this. You can't get that. You know what I mean? We are implementing this. We want it fleshed out. So if you do buy it, leave the devs uh, actual feedback on the Steam page, what you liked, what you didn't like, um, and stuff like that, because this is how these guys understand what what should be implemented i'll do an actual review on steam and actually post that review as well so if you're interested in that go to my steam and you'll see the review um and yeah i think generally it's a good six out of ten it's a good starting point um i'm not going to give it more than that i think if it was fleshed out a bit, little bit more and and again a tutorial for me to understand the little systems which we did eventually understand but we but it took a while because we couldn't understand why they was able to do some of the stuff that they was able to do on the first go when we figured it out um so i think things like that definitely need to be you need to understand that a little bit more and the little black bits in in you know why are they why have they not got graphics on them again that could be improved a little little uh, these are little things that make a game like I said being able to rename your character again it was my character called No Name and again adding it on to to, to the picture again these are things that it's not hard to implement and I think it just makes the game more fuller and better and um, I don't care about creating a character because 
whatever maybe you can choose i give you a choice between different characters male and female and we got maybe nice as well rather than just default male um so again maybe that could be added on um i think that's important nowadays that you represent you know male and females not just males um because a lot of card player games are females nowadays as well um so i think again these are little things that should be definitely added uh, but anyway i'm going to leave that i uh, hope you've enjoyed that and we're going to raid uh, pink mamoshi so let me just uh, click on the raid button and freaking uh, one of our favorite streamers pink mamoshi who's now become a twitch affiliate and so give us some love uh, give her a follow and uh we'll see you again tomorrow so let's start the raid five four three two one let's raid well i was gonna say we could use it to hold it up got a chest part oh we need like a lot of those okay oh there there's something that's the handle so that's why I thought it looked similar. Hi, Chrono. How are you doing? And Loen, how are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. We're playing a chill game. Um, I commented it earlier in the stream, but for y'all that might want to come by and watch me play Undertale for the first time, I'm actually scheduling it for this weekend, but I'm debating on Friday or Saturday. So if you guys have a preferred day, let me know in the chat because I would like to kind yeah, of schedule it around chat. availability. And I'm good. Thanks, Lowen. I appreciate it. I am pretty much just hanging out. After the sake yesterday, I get it. I think that was two days ago. Or maybe you drank, maybe you drank yesterday too. Because yesterday I did a short stream with, um, with other people since yeah, my wish. sister is over. Saturday. Yeah, I think it was Saturday. But, uh, yeah, dude, no, I feel that. I feel that. Sunday, maybe. I don't know. I think it was, I think it was Saturday that we did that. Corona can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, if you had bad heads, mean bad headaches. I could, I could understand that. Uh, we'll take both of those. Actually, all three things in there. Hell yeah. I feel it. I definitely feel it, Lowen. I get bad headaches all the time. I should always have headache medicine on my desk. Ah, oh, a lion head. It's kind of amazing. This is a game I that I've been yeah, playing it's, for, I did, I did or this is a that. series I've been playing for oh. like a few weeks now, a couple weeks. Oh, thank you so much, Chrono. I know.